your knee, uh, left knee up on. There you go. And it's customary to sing a lusty work song <laughs> as you do this. So that's the timber. I'd like to do, pass this around now. <laughs> get that. There you go. I got to look at that. All right. I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> Gosh, you want me to autograph Calvin Cobb, Radio Woodworker, a novel with measured drawings? I'll be glad to. As the author here, would you like this in Klingon? That would be fine. All right. Yeah, show me what you got. You got uh, auger bit rolls. Auger bit rolls, absolutely. Man, I'm in. Absolutely. Now that's, a, that's, that's not leather. Now that's so, uh, heavy duty wax canvas. Oh, so the water that's great. Right off yeah, I like great it. Thing. A little bit of that wax gets on the augers too, I bet. Yeah, help cut a and bit helps them cut. Yeah, thank you. It's so yeah. nice. Traditional to give the interviewer a gift. I thank you so much. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Making me one right now. Yeah, I need you to pick up the pace a little bit, though, Janet. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, I'm not sweating at all. Yeah. We're waiting for the crowd to thin out around Peter Gelbert here so we can get on in. I'm going to come around on the other side, though, so we can sneak up. He's here with his new book. Let's say, can, Peter, can you pose with the new book? Oh, certainly. There you go. We've got Peter Gelbert here with his new book. So, tell me about the chair. Uh, this is new to me, this one. Yeah, that's a new one. I, I wanted just, to see this. Just made this this last week. It's not even glued up. Oh, we're not okay. allowed to sit in it. Oh, absolutely. Are we really? Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. bring it on over here. All right. Have a seat. Okay. I'm going to do it now. Here we go. Hook it up. Press your microphone. Oh! Right. oh. <laughs> no, it's all right. Oh, it is great. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's got that whole thing about like a hand holding it. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's great. Look at your vices here. Yep. I didn't see them because you're working them. These are uh, the... Those are co that one's Coca Bola. Yeah, Coca Bola. That one's Picasso Ebony. Wow. That's hardcore stuff, man. This kind of puts the pressure on you when you're working with tools this nice. Not to hit it. Well, not to hit it, but also you better make something worthy right. of uh, all the work you put into these. Well, that's great. So I am demonstrating furniture conservation. I love this. I think this is a great uh, uh, trade, you know, because you got to keep the character and not... Yeah. Uh, and you're always thinking how to fit, like for example, this broken piece right here. Exactly. It's a real puzzle. What would you do down here if I may? Uh, yeah. Put that so up. This is actually an interesting thing. So you can see the splat looks upside down to my eye. Yeah. And I think this is what why I love conservation because it's always problem solving. <laughs> I'm inclined to use a ramp shooting board. <laughs> the reason why that is, yeah. well, I'll give you a couple of reasons. First of all, when this plane iron is passing through the workpiece, instead of just consecutively hitting one spot and deforming that little section of the blade, now I can double the amount of blade passing through it on its way to complete the cut. You see? So that's not an inconsiderable advantage because we want that blade, which is having a tough time in end grain anyway, to have as good a day as it possibly can. Can I tell you a story? I think I actually told this on TV, but I know you wouldn't uh, see this. Uh, I was having a devil of a time getting a shaker uh, table to work, and I happened to be at the Mark Adams School, and there was a template stuck on the wall for exactly the table that was vexing me so bad. It was your template. I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been uh, making those tables. It, right? I've been making those tables right ever since. So I still little, have your stolen table. <laughs> this is what's happening now. Is this guy? He was scary. The this is the green man. man. Yes. And the thing is about carving faces is you want to um, not carve the actual eyeballs or pupils until the very end. 
mm -hmm. because that's what creates the personality. So if you imagine oh, this, cover up your eyes and he's, so, he's got a neutral look. So it's looking right back at you the whole time. You don't want that. It's one of those pupils and it's got personality and it's alive. Mm. Now is that butternut? That looks that's like butternut. butternut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's your butternut green man.